We're back at Chocolatier to see if the experience is still the same since they first opened. Let's see. Hi everyone, you're watching the Theme Park Foodies. I'm Jay. And I'm Sam. And we're back at the Chocolatier. We were actually here opening day. And uh, opening day, we were very impressed. We were waiting for years for this <laughs> restaurant to open. And we've seen so many friends come back. And we wanted to try we a few so different We were so jealous options. seeing everybody get to come back. <laughs> to be honest, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we came here. We're very excited for lunch. We're doing lunch again. And uh, last time I got the uh, cocoa dusted beef short rib and you got the Chocolatier burger. Oh. And we also chocolate town burger um but we uh we also got the ferris wheel appetizer but we're gonna try a bunch of different items today let you guys know what we think we also want to see if the quality of the service as well as the food is as good as it was when it first opened up yeah i have high hopes yeah are you excited Sam? i am very excited anything you have your eye on uh the fondue yes we didn't get the fondue last time i think time. we'll have to be getting that fondue today so <laughs> if you enjoyed the content please like and subscribe join us for our meal at Chocolatier, we'll also be ranking everything from 1 to 10. If you're new here, that's generally what we do. So let's head upstairs. And we miss you, Eric. Oh, yes. Last Eric time we is were actually in Disney yeah. right now, so yeah. he's having good a great you. time. Yeah, good for you, Eric. <laughs> Enjoy your you. Polynesian bungalow. <laughs> All right, so first change, they don't greet you at the steps now. And uh, they have the full menu right here Ooh. when you come in. I was looking at that chicken and waffles. It's supposed to be a, a uh, I was about to say Walt Disney, a Milton Hershey favorite. <laughs> A lot of things we gotta try. All right, going up the steps. Definitely gonna need some to get some steps in with all the food we're gonna be eating. And there is an elevator. Yes, there is an elevator if you if you need. All right, so we got to see it. One of these cool booths, which are themed after the ride vehicles here. And it's usually for larger parties, but we appreciate them accommodating us. But you can see the coaster crystals there in the background too. Great shot of the carousel bar. All right, so I got the Laugh Track Lemonade. This is one of the mocktails. I want to try them out because they actually look like a lot of fun. They have one with like cotton candy. This one has Jolly Ranchers in it. Blue Raspberry Lemonade with crushed Jolly Rancher candy. So. I feel like this is like um, Eric's Jolly Rancher Marcini mm. minus the alcohol. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. The little Jolly Rancher crunch <laughs> at the end. It looks really pretty, and I like how the glasses have uh, the yeah. chocolate here and printed on them. Could be a little bit more sour, but it's definitely a fun drink. Great for kids. We're going to be having a lot of sugar today, Sam. I just realized I'm having sugar this. I got some chocolate on uh, my main dish, but I'll show you guys in a little, in a little bit when I get it. Um, give that an eight. Solid eight. All right, Sam, that thing looks good. Yeah. What is I that? Think Keith Goddard actually got this on opening day. I think I saw it in his. Oh, and Goddard Family Adventures? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I'll we'll link uh, their channel below. So I think I think he got this so instead of. What is it called? So it's the frozen chocolate here, and it has chocolate vodka, Kahlua, Hershey's cocoa, milk chocolate, and whipped cream. Ooh. All right, we got to see how it is. Hershey's chocolate. Yeah, I guess you take a bite of that and then maybe um, sip on it. Now, do you taste the alcohol in it or is it You do, but it's not like overpowering. Not overpowering. Because I personally don't like these chocolate martinis. They're a little like strong for me, but mm -hmm. this is nice. Nice. One out of ten. Nine. Oh, that's good. It's really good. Nine's really good. All right, Sam, so these are the loaded fries, right? Those look so good. That's like a big portion. What's what's in this? Uh, this has Hershey's chocolate barbecue pulled pork, Ooh. cheddar queso. You can see the queso at the top. Scallions and buttermilk ranch. We like queso, we like ranch. Oh, I'm a big fan <laughs> of ranch. I don't even know what's in ranch. I just know I like the flavor. <laughs> That's a nice portion, too. I feel like four people could share that. Now, the fries themselves, they're good. We thought that we said this on opening day. We think of the no, Milton's the ones six. are a little better. The Milton ones are better. Huh. I thought they were good, though. What makes this is this pulled pork. 
with the uh, the cheese on top and a crunch from the scallions mixed in with the carbs. Do you taste the chocolate in the pork? Like it adds a little bit of a bitterness that complements the flavors that are in here. I'm gonna give this an eight. A solid eight though, very good. All right. Right? It, it's that though, that pulled pork's really good, especially with the barbecue sauce. Elevates the fries. Yeah, and the cheese, the white cheddar cheese. Yeah, the nuts taste. Yeah, the queso. What would you give this one? I agree with an eight. Eight? Yeah, but like a good solid. There is a lot. Of, look how much pork is on here. Yeah. No, like, it's a great it's not portion. like skimpy. You can have that as like a dinner yeah. to yourself. Yeah, or yeah literally, like this is like people. a meal. Yeah. All right, so this is the filet mignon. Um, and it is Hershey's cocoa and coffee rubbed eight ounce filet, whipped Yukon gold potatoes, broccolini, and chocolate quarter sauce. Yeah, you can see the that sauce. Look at the sear right on the top of that too. I got it cooked medium rare. So, all right, let's, uh, let's take a move it. I love broccolini. Yeah, broccolini is very good. Can we get that? Look at the cook on that. It's definitely, um, I, I, like a, I like some red in the meat, so put a little potato on that. Seared very well. It's cooked and prepared perfectly. Oh, the cut of meat is slightly chewy. I feel like it's, this isn't a steakhouse. Uh, yeah, as far as preparation goes, 10 out of 10. Oh, the cut. I could finish it and it could change later, but I'm gonna give it a nine because it's got a lot of great flavor on the outside. Potatoes are good. I'll try the broccoli in a bit. But so far, nine. All right, Sam. All right, so I got thin sliced turkey, cheddar, applewood smoked bacon, avocado, lettuce, tomato, and garlic aioli. And what's it called? Um, this is the Hershey Triple Tower Turkey Club. And like the, like, like the Kisses Tower. Look at this. That thing is a, it's a big boy. Are you going to finish that? I don't know how I'm gonna find this. <laughs> you know like I hate eating on camera and then I pick like the most like ridiculous thing and like try to stick in your mouth. So. You'll get it, you'll get it. I think I might have to cut it. Okay. Right, so Sam had to really like squish that sand. Yeah, his down. advice was squish it down and go for a corner. <laughs> I really like it. I do wish the cheese was like a little more melted. Yeah. But it is really good. One out of ten. Add avocado. I would give it a seven. It, it looks really good. Mine is is very well prepared. This is the most expensive thing on the menu, so oh. I I am Maybe bougie today. All right, we'll finish it up. Let you know what we think. And you're at the chocolates here. If you're Hershey Park, you got to get dessert. All right, remember when we said we were gonna get the fondue? We there's no way we could have eaten. Remember how we just stuffed um, a large peanut butter <laughs> cup at Chocolate World before we came here? Yeah, if you guys see that we had an earlier video probably the game up before this where we didn't stuff your cup the thing. Unfortunately, we had to like film all our stuff in like one day. Yeah. Usually, so it's like back to back food. We made room though. We are sharing this. Yes, we made sure we had room for this uh, Reese's milkshake. milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> we can't even speak. <laughs> Shake top with peanut butter pie, dipped pretzel stick, Reese's Pieces candy, whipped cream, in a peanut butter chip decorated glass. So this is very similar to the Simply Chocolate Shake. How they, they used to have it. Now it's covered in, uh, it's like a Reese's cup covered in milk chocolate. But it used to be, it used to come like this. Shake. Yeah, it the used to have that new love that pie on top. Yeah, and Harvest also has a similar shake to this, or had, I haven't been there recently, that we've had in a video. Uh, I want to see how the peanut butter pie compares. Oh, they gave us two too. straws. Yeah. All right. Um, so yeah, well, uh, you want to try it out first? Or should I try yeah, it? Out? Try. Just so you guys know, I know I just said Harvest before. Harvest is the restaurant that's uh, it's it's inside really, or not really inside. It's kind of off to the Hotel Hershey, so it's affiliated with the Hotel Hershey. And uh, we have a bunch of videos in the Harvest. We're, we're just called Harvest. Well, trying to get something. I like how Simply Chocolate makes the shakes with like the decorated rim, the pretzel. Mm. The shake part is very peanut butter. More, more peanut butter. This shake shake is probably better than Simply Chocolate. Oh. 
was, well, what, what, what the novelty of Simply Chocolate was that it was it was like the only crazy shake in Hershey. But now you have these crazy shakes. Yeah, I feel like crazy shakes are everywhere now. Yeah, and their Turkey Hill ice cream. This is this ice cream is I'm assuming from Milton, which is downstairs, which is a lot fresher. Let me try this pie out. That looks like the pie that was on the shake that you liked. It's not. You don't seem. It tastes similar. It's very good. It's very peanut butter forward, which I like because I'm a big peanut butter fan. It's very good. Simply chocolate, I usually rank about an eight. I'd give this a nine. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, it's better. No, no, it's this is definitely a much. If you have to choose a crazy shake, I'd go with this one. Wow. But you have to try it out next to see your thoughts because you've got both too. All right, Sam's trying it out. I'm not getting any. Yeah, yeah, suck really hard. You want to try the other? Try the other straw. Mm. Right, it's very peanut butter forward, and you could take taste it. The uh, ice cream is very fresh. The shake itself is really good. Yeah. And this was like our dessert light option. But yeah. then we were getting the fun We were like, oh, let's just. Well, fun do would be probably like five or six people. I mean, we can't put that away too because we're going to the park. Oh my god. And we wouldn't be able so to keep creamy. it. So creamy. Right, it's very creamy. I think both. I think that pie and that shake is better than what Simply Chocolate offers. Although I did enjoy their old shake option, and I do enjoy the Cup Fusion shake. I think if you had to choose, I would go with this one for sure. Yes. Okay. Would you agree with my nine ranking? Agree. Yeah. We agree. You sit near the carousel bar. You can get these great views. Oh, there's supply company. I guess if you want to look in a gift shop. But there are some nice scenery in here, especially with the pinwheel in the back and the different lights. And uh, the, the booths are over here actually have the pinwheel logo on them. Or I should say booths, tables. Something really cool, there are actually seatbelts in this booth. I never noticed that. And the booth is themed after the Comet roller coaster. All right, uh, just so you guys know, the patio is open at the chocolates here as well as the bar open. bar was not open last time we were here and there are umbrellas too it's rainy a little bit right now although it looks like just a passing shower what do you think of your meal sam Hershey bar full <laughs> i'm gonna make that a thing instead of having it yeah no full. i am extremely full those uh, fries were, could definitely be a meal yeah no my frozen chocolate here drink could definitely be a dessert yeah no we eat a lot uh, as we usually do but especially a lot today. Uh, my filet mignon, very well prepared. I would definitely say a nine nice seasoning. out of 10. Well seasoning, uh, the, uh, was it, was it mashed potatoes? Was Yukon. It? Yukon. Whipped. Whipped potatoes. Very good. Broccolini, very good. Uh, what do you think of yours, Sam? This is really good. I just, the turkey was really good and the bacon was like the same bacon that was on that um, chocolate towel burger that I got last time, yeah. which I really liked. I just wish the cheese was a little more melted, but that was. I actually had a bite of hers. And it was, it was very good. I would agree with your assessment of a seven on that. Uh, I think um, the uh, the eight, well, the appetizer was eight, very good. Mm -hmm. The drinks here are great as well. And the dessert, Hershey has to have good desserts. You know, you're in Hershey Park. And anytime, I mean, we've been here twice. <laughs> but all the desserts that we've tried, I got to even try Eric's last time, they've all been exceptional. So for anything, if anything, you have to come to the chocolate here for desserts. And the mocktail, that was fun. Your drink, I tried her drink too, it was very really good. good. Yeah. Now, if the overall. Like, I would definitely, I would get the drink again. Yeah. I would get the fries again. Yeah. I would still rank Chocolatier as a must do, and I would rank the service oh, as well as the experience is. definitely on par with the original experience that we had here on Open Day. Would you agree with that, Absolutely. Sam? Yes, and uh, we will be back for more Chocolatier stuff to see the different. I'd love to sit outside. Yeah, next time. It was very cool we got to sit inside a ride vehicle yeah that's fun. and they actually have some uh, some ride vehicles sitting on here if you want to see a, a better tour of chocolatier check out our original opening day video where we actually walk through the majority of the restaurants to show you guys uh different areas uh, that uh you know are well themed 
kind of it's a chocolatier experience. Yeah, and last time we did get that Ferris wheel appetizer. Yes. Which was like, I feel like for the first time was definitely a must do. It's absolutely adorable, but for two people to get that every time. Yeah, no. If you're, you're two people. Pop, it's a little much. Also, I wouldn't say everything on it was, I think that the appetizer we had today was better than any of the appetizers yeah. that came with the Ferris wheel appetizer. Yeah, but it still is really cute. Yes, uh, I think everything. The experience, the, the service, presentation. exceptional. Yeah, we just definitely. Like, we just like break. If you're a Disney fan, this is a Disney level quality dining experience. Uh, fine dining, no, but fun to table, which is their theme. Yes. Definitely, yes. And it is very close to my. We gotta get that fundue. Yeah, Next we'll time. be back. Well, maybe we'll come with some more people to get the fundue. Yeah, we need friends. Yeah, we have friends. Please be our friend. Yeah, <laughs> we have friends. We just gotta we just gotta link up and get them to come here. Uh, if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow. It'll help push this video out into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Subscribing will let you know next time we have videos. Hit the bell notification so you're notified when we have videos coming out. When is that, Sam? Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. We haven't missed one in a whole year. So you'll you'll oh, always yeah, be a general. Okay, out. so today is July 3rd, and today is actually, I think they said five weeks since yes. Funkatier opened. Yes. And this one is the year, five week anniversary of Funkatier. today, Hershey Park reopened after the yes. pandemic. We were here, it was like our first park vlog. Yeah. Um, it was, I don't want to say terrible, but we didn't know what we were doing. We didn't it was, know, it was we, our first time vlogging. It was a don't, I mean, you could watch it if you want. It was a pandemic. Yeah. Like, it, was, it was a rough time. It's not one of our better vlogs. We were just learning, so. And we still are. We try to get better every day. So thank you so much for watching. Don't count the days. Make the days count. We'll see you next time. That's all, folks. It's a great view. We got a, a sun shower going on right now as well. Yeah.